Hey guys, I'm Smoke and welcome to Don't Escape 2, which is the sequel to the original Don't Escape, which came out in 2013, and this one came out in 2015, so it's a brand new chapter, a very different look at it than the original game, and I fiddled around with it for a while, I finally got a good combination down, so I will show you how to do it, I think. I start a new game. The undead attacked, we weren't ready. Thinking back, we were never fully ready for this. The whole outbreak started over two weeks ago, and it's been getting worse ever since. This time we barely made it. We got away, but Bill was bitten. We both knew what that meant. We decided to stay in this abandoned building for a while. We need to rest and sleep. A huge horde of living dead is coming this way. They'll reach us by sunset. We'll have to lock this place up before it happens, and maybe, just maybe, I'll sleep soon the day. Alright, so, as you can see, we're never going to start this time. The map is also a lot bigger. Not bigger. Like, ten times bigger. So here's what I'm going to do. There's our buddy, he's been bitten. I, now, if I actually find painkiller so I can fix him. And then, in the outside right here, I go over here and grab the key, which I know where the key goes to, to be honest. I have no idea where the key goes to. I'm going to lock the door. Oh! <laughs> I never realized I got... Damn, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, anyway, I got the wire, I got the bullet, and I got the, the wire cutters, and I have a key now. And the first thing I can do is, uh, before I forget, I put the wires here, and I'll explain why later, but you might, you might already be able to get that right, just with that right there. Because you can uh, electrify the fence, but you can actually fix it. It's, uh, it's a big deal. So the first place we go to is down here, which is the crash site. It's where a, you know, obviously there's a couple of cop cars, you know, a little broken up. You get the gun. More importantly, I can get the fuel from this tank. So, later I can get that. So let's leave and go to here, which is the church. I can get the ass and get the bullet from here. I think that's all I can get. I try going in here and just that the father just won't talk to you. He just he's too sad and won't talk to you. You can't actually pick these things up as they are. I don't use the axe on those logs actually. No. Can't. But yeah, you can't pick those things up as they are right now because they're too heavy. So next thing you gotta do is go over here. It takes 20 minutes. And then you can talk to this guy. Now this guy wants his glasses. So what you gotta do here is you use a wire cutter to get the, the cart. You use a cart to get that. It's, hard to, it's easy to miss, by the way. So you get the fence, right? Then you can go into here. And you can get this and get the, the, the liquor. Then you go here. There's two ways to deal with this. I'm just gonna shoot him. Shoot him and go try to five more zombies. So, at the end of the day, there'll be five more zombies trying to break in my house. Now give the glasses to him. This is Jeremy, by the way. Say hi to Jeremy. And then Jeremy will be our friend now. So let's go to the this area, which is the gas station. I can get the bullet and the gas, and I can get the water, the batteries. Put the batteries on the camera. I'm not sure what that does, to be honest with you. I really don't know. I don't know what to do with the camera. I put on Jeremy. Right, so seven hours, ten minutes left. I can get the painkiller from there. I can break down the door and get the hose. You leave from this place. I think it's screwed up already, actually, because it takes 20 minutes. So go here and get the fuel from the, the thing here. Now do the generator, right? So now I got the gas. So you go home, which takes 10 minutes. And then go inside. Can give the painkiller to Bill. Let's give the painkillers to Bill, and you'll help me now. And now there's a very important thing that to do, which I didn't do. Damn, I was wasting I was 10 more minutes, guys. I have to get the uh, stuff from the church. So I was wasting 20 minutes. I'm an idiot. Okay, so. 
go back to the house. We have six hours left. Alright, so now I can make the mortar and pestle. That means I can brick up this window here. So put the cement in the box, put the water on it, and start the shovel. This will take ten minutes. Yeah. Now I can brick up the wall here. This will take... One hour and 35 minutes. Yes, I'll take it. Now I have four hours left. Let's see. How long is it for, to fix the fence? This will take two hours and 30 minutes. Yes. Now I have two hours and five minutes left. How long will it take for me to dig a hole? Two hours and 30 minutes. I don't have time. I wait for 20 minutes for to do that. So let's go ahead and start the generator with the gas. So, yes. That. Now I currently have an alcohol bullets. This and this. Let's close the door and lock the door. And go over here. And I can now use the wire cutters on this thing. Which allows me to open up this thing. I can hide down here now. Now, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the alcohol to Bill, and now I'm gonna kill him with the axe because he's hurt a zombie. Okay. Now we'll go down here, hatch, and we'll wait for nightfall. Let's see what happens. Yes, we have two hours left. If I had enough screwed up the the mode, I could I think I might have been able to actually dig the hole. All right, 50 zombies have arrived. The shooting has caused the show five living dead to show up. The fence was your first line of fence. Powered by generator, it fried 500 creatures to crisp before the electricity went out. Down to 50. After the generator went out, went silent, the fence stopped 15 rotting monsters before the rest of them took it down. There was nothing in their way in the front yard. Breaking up the windows was a good idea. Ten members of the horde tried to enter your hideout through the window, but instead ended up being hopelessly scratching the bricks. The locked door held up long enough to make ten members of the horde lose interest and wander off. You went hiding in the cellar, hearing angry growls above your head. The hatch was squeaking on the weight of the undead. A finally broken five members of the horde fell inside the cellar, instantly breaking their necks. They were no longer a threat. However, the remaining ten, one by one, fell inside, safely landing on the corpses of the predecessors. They stood I shot two members of the horde in the head. I ran out of ammo. Eight monsters attacked Jeremy ripping to pieces. I made it. You quietly sneaked past the monsters devouring Jeremy. Also, I abandoned Jeremy. I have survived the night. It's time for one to leave this place. Unlock the genius. The survivor quit the game has survived. Okay. Come. Well. I, yeah, I beat the game. I beat the game. But so let's see if we can actually save Jeremy this time. So let's try it again. And let's skip past everything right here. Now, we, see, the problem is I wasted time last time. I wasted like 20 whole minutes, which I could have actually spent doing so that was useful. So let's grab the shovel, go outside, get the key and the wire, grab bullet from the hole, grab the cutters. The first place that I'm going to go to is the, the cop car crash site, where I can grab the gun, and I can see the oil. That's all I can get from out here. I can also chop down the wood, but I think it's just so much time. So I'm gonna go to let's see. Go to the, yeah, I'll go to church, I'll turn it away, I can grab the axe and the bullet. I can't grab these until I go to the, to the store though. Now I'll go to the gas station and I can grab the gas tank and grab the bullet. See last time I went to the store, that wasted 20 minutes. But I need all stuff from here. So basically you can actually get this done in one trip. So you can get that and get the bullets and they're down there. All the fish are dead in the aquarium, by the way, is what he said. And now I can go to the the uh, this the, the store. Go to the store, and I can get the stuff from Jeremy. So first, I need to get the cart. Uh, where am I? There are my cutters, and I can get the thing there. And I can grab the camera and I can grab the beer. Now I'll load my gun and shoot the zombie. That does make farmers on the pop up. Shoot the zombie in the head. Yes. And I can 
grab his glasses. And I can give those to Jeremy, and Jeremy will help us. Come on, Jeremy. Now we need to go to the church to get the stuff. So get the mortar and the pestle. Uh, we need to get the cement and the bricks. Get in there. Yes, yes. Okay, now. We go to the car to get the gas from the cop car. And that will give us... How much time we have left? Six hours left. Alright. Now we got the gas. Go home. Go inside. And we can give the... Give the, the painkillers to Bill. And we can go back inside. And we can create the mortar from there. Mortar cement. Here's cement. And then I can use the shovel to mix it. Yes. Now I can work up these windows. Now it'll take an hour and 35. Alright, so now I have four hours and 55 minutes left. I'm gonna go over here and I'll attach the wire and the gas to the to the fence. Let's see, gas, 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 okay? Yes. Now we'll fix the fence, and that will take us two and a half hours. So that will leave us with a decent amount of time actually. Alright, let's look up. So we'll have two hours and 25 minutes left. I'm thinking, I think it takes so much time to get this done. Let's see. Start over. Quit. Alright, new game. One more time. Let's see if I can save Jeremy. Okay. Go up, get the shovel, and we start the top car. Let's come here. And go here. Gone. And then later I can actually chop down those trees. Then we leave the cop car behind. Go to church. Get the axe and the bullet. Then we go up north to here. Get the bullet, get the gas, go inside. Get the painkiller, get the water, get the... Oh yeah, I, 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 you get a coin. I don't know what the coin does, to be honest with you. Then you axe down the door. And you get the... The thing, get the hose. I can go from there to go to here to go to Jeremy's place. Now you need to get the cart. So I'll pop the cart and then I will get the wire. Go inside, load the gun. Let's see, I think I'm missing a bullet from somewhere. Yeah, I think I, I, I didn't grab a bullet from the place. What's no big deal? Glasses. Then we will go to Jeremy. Get your glasses, Jeremy. You will help us. Now go back to the top car. Yep. See, seven hours left. Get the gas from here. Alright, now. See, how long to come down these trees? We're going to take an hour and 15. Okay, let's do that. Yes. Get states. And we can go back to the church. Get the mortar, so we got five an hour and 45 left. Now let's go to the base. Five and five left. Go inside. Get the painkillers to Bill. Let's see. Go outside. Let's see. Fix the fence. No, stay. Fix the fence. That will take two and a half hours, yes. And then I will lock the fence. Kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? 
You serious right now? I didn't grab a cement. Okay. Well, I think I screwed myself. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking. I thought I grabbed a cement. Now I have an hour. I might be able to put up the wall. Yeah. I probably hit it. I hit it. Alright, back to base. And power straight to match. I think I have to do worse this time because of the fact that I'm out of time. Alright, hold on, stick to put up the wall. Alright, put that there. Put that there. And I can do that. Now 30 minutes. Yes. Wall up the stuff. An hour 35 and have an hour 20. Alright, let's see. About time you're in the middle of farming. Okay, okay, blah blah blah. Wanted to stop any of them. Those not giving it. Alright, blah blah. Alright, so I died. Yeah, I screwed myself. You know, um, maybe you guys can find a better way to do it than I can. I know I can do better if I can. Uh, I, I screw myself when I get these cement. But I have beat this game. And hope you enjoyed it. And I will be doing.